Hi everyone, thank you for stopping by and welcome to Sugar's Little Farm House where you can find me, Kim, aka Sugar, on most days here at our little farm house in the kitchen cooking up yummy healthy meals, making sourdough bread, and doing all the things to make our home beautiful and welcoming. I am so glad you stopped by. If you don't mind, just click subscribe and click that little bell so you'll get notifications when I post a new video. Today, I am starting the series. I had many requests on how do you do your sourdough starter. I got into making sourdough starter a little over a month ago and I have been crazy about it, love doing it. So I thought I would share with you my steps on the things that I do to make starter. We're going to do it every day for a week because it takes about a week to get that starter good and active enough for you to start baking with it. So let's get started. These are the supplies you're going to need. You're going to need a scale, okay? A measuring scale. You can use um, a measuring cup, but to get your ratios just accurate, I recommend a scale. My first batch of starter was a flop because I was just using a measuring cup. I wasn't, it wasn't accurate, ac accurate, and the ratios were not good. My starter never got really good and active and bubbly, and it never had that good yeast smell, so I threw it out and I started from scratch and I started measuring with a scale. You'll need some jars. I'm using a pint size canning jar here. You can use um, this size jar. This is a starter that I have started already. Um, they have these kind of jars with these little lids here. That's fine too. You can use a bowl with the lid, whatever you can find. Uh, make sure it's glass and you will need something to stir your starter with. Um, and you'll need flour and water okay so for your water you're going to want it to be purified filtrated uh bottled water i i use uh, water from our berkeley here um but you don't want water that's not um uh, filtered okay and your flour so you can use any kind of flour uh, for this starter here, I used all-purpose, uh, organic all-purpose unbleached flour. You can use uh, whole wheat flour, you can use rye flour. Today we're using a whole wheat flour unbleached. I recommend that you use unbleached flours. So it doesn't matter which kind of flour you use actually. So what else? Um, I like to have a wet washcloth because it can get sticky. And I usually use uh, another dry cloth to keep my utensils on. So when I put my utensil down, it's not all sticky on my counter. I just use regular well, washcloths. These are Norwex ones actually. Um, you can use paper towel if you want, but I try not to waste. Uh, so uh, let's get started. You know, I'll, I'll, I will say this, you know, a lot of people want to know what's the deal about starters? Well, starters have been around for years, hundreds and hundreds of years. They've come, they have made a big comeback lately. And, um, you know, years ago, they didn't have the little yeast packets that we have now. So this is how they uh, had, uh, they, they got their breads to rise by making their own fermented starter, okay? It was a treasure in their families. They passed their starters on from generation to generation. And so um, I hope to keep this in my family forever. If something happens to me, don't let Rick throw this out, y'all. Ask him, where's the starter, Rick? Give me some starter. <laughs> if you want some of my starter, I'll share it with you. So. Let's get started. What you're gonna do first of all is you are going to turn on your scale, okay? So all scales are different. Um, mine is just like this. They have the little numbers here. You're gonna turn it on um, and you're gonna put your jar on it. When you put your jar on it, make sure you, uh, you zero it out because my jar weighs 286 grams and I'm gonna be adding flour to this. So you wanna make sure you put click zero, okay? And it says zero, you wanna set it to grams. So you need to press the unit button. If your scale has a unit button, you can get scales off of Amazon, Target, Walmart, anywhere. Uh, make sure it says zero, okay? And let's go for it. Let's dive right in. Now you gotta remember too, 
you got to name your starter. So, you know, make sure you be thinking of a name for your starter. My starter here is named after my grandmother, Bobon. Her um, last name was Terrabone, and so we called her Babon. And so this is Babon, and this new starter I'm starting today with y'all is going to be named Shirley after my mama. So, day one. So write this down for your day one. You're going to want 50 grams of flour. So I am just going to watch my little scale and try not to get distracted because I always go over 50. But it's okay if you go over 50, okay? It's not the end of the world. We can still make starter even though you go over 50. You're going to just use equal amount of water. So we're at 31. Let me pay attention. So I get so nervous. I'm at 48. <laughs> I get so nervous. I'm right on 50. Yay! I did it. Right on 50. Okay. So we got 50. Well, no, it's saying 49 now. So it's, it went back. Let me put a little bit more. Let's do this. Oh. It went to 50 again. So it's 50. Okay. There you go. So now we're going to press zero. You want to zero out your scale. And we're going to go 50 grams of warm filtered water. Okay, you want it warm. I usually get it from our Berkeley and I put it in the microwave usually for like 20 seconds. You don't want it hot. You just want it a little bit warm. Y'all, how did I do that? I got it on the dot each time. The flour in the water. I never do that. Oh, goodness. Okay. And so next, all you're going to do is stir it. So you're going to get a spoon. I like to use wooden spoons. I don't like to use metal. You can use a rubber spatula. And you want to stir it really good. Okay. You want all that flour gone. You don't want to see any flour in here. Okay, so this is kind of what it looks like. Can you see it? It's kind of gooey, sticky, like a sticky dough. And I'm gonna scrape, that's why I have a rubber spatula because I wanna scrape it all off my wooden spoon. Okay, and then what I do is I go in with my spatula and I scrape down the sides to make sure I got all the flour off the sides make sure there's no flour and then I look at the bottom of the jar make sure there's no flour there and it looks pretty good y'all okay and that is it okay so this is day one that's all you do see how easy that is so what you're gonna do is you're gonna put a lid on it and you're not gonna screw this on okay you're just gonna let it sit right there on top and you're gonna cover it they don't like light. They like darkness. So I, I use just I just use my tea towels that I use for baking, and um, and I cover her. I cover her, and I'm gonna put her in a warm spot. You can put her anywhere that's warm in your house. My starters like the oven with the light on, but you gotta remember, don't turn on the oven in the morning if you're gonna bake something. Put a little note on your uh, oven um, starter. Uh, don't turn the oven on. You can put it on top of the fridge. I have done that before when I needed my oven uh, because up on top of the fridge is nice and toasty. You can put it on the back of your stove. It just depends uh, on your house, you know, how warm or cold it is. Okay, it's kind of chilly up here right now, so I tend to keep mine in my oven. And it's going to stay in the oven until tomorrow. Uh, and then tomorrow, we're going to take her out and we're going to do another video and I'm going to show you what we're going to do for day two okay so that was pretty easy right so what i want to do is uh, answer any questions that you may have pop any questions in the comments let's make this our starter our sourdough starter club let's have our own club 
wouldn't that be so much fun? Like a reading club, a book club. We have a sourdough starter club. And, you know, in the comments, let me know when you start your sourdough starter so we can chat about it. So we can, I can know how it looks. You know, is it starting to smell? Is it starting to bubble? It gets so exciting. Y'all, I get so excited to talk about sourdough starters. I just love it. So, Anyway, thank you for coming by. I'm going to see you tomorrow. Tomorrow's video is going to be quick because it doesn't take much to, uh, we're going to have to feed it tomorrow, okay? And I'm going to teach you how to feed it tomorrow. So anyway, thank you for coming. Remember to click subscribe and always be grateful for something every day. Wake up and be grateful for three things in your life. Every morning I wake up and I'm grateful. I say into my heart and my head three things I'm grateful for. So I encourage you to do the same. Bye y'all. See y'all later.